How to Practice Mel Bay Using the Principles of Correct Practice for Guitar. On page 19, you have dotted quarter notes. Um, my experience in teaching is that students always have trouble understanding dotted quarter notes because it's never taught right. Unless you get my course on rhythm, uh, then you'll have it taught correctly to you. You have to be able to write in counting symbols like this. The dotted quarter note would get one and two written under it because it gets a beat and a half. And that means it gets all of one beat and the first half of the next beat. So if you want a full understanding of that, I would recommend you get my book called Foundations of Rhythm. It's available at the Guitar Principles School uh, store. There is nothing like it in terms of explaining in the simplest language possible uh, how to read and understand rhythm notation. When you, when you do these, that single eighth note will be an up pick. Counting, if I were to count it from the beginning, it'd be one, two, three, four, one and two and three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one and two and three, four, and my foot is tapping the whole time. That's something you must be able to do. You will find it difficult to do it in the beginning. You'd have to take it really slow in order to actually keep your foot tapping the beat when you're playing these dotted quarter notes. On the next page 20, you have the lowest notes on the guitar, the uh, low E, three ledger lines, it's below the line, the F and the G. Physically, it's rather difficult to play over there, okay, because you need to have your hand really developed, which means a hand that can do this, okay which you get from the foundation training um, in my book, The Principles of Correct Practice for Guitar. So try to keep your good form here. Don't let all your fingers tense up just because you put the one down on the F. Don't let that happen. Now, we'll go as far as the next page this time. And this high A note, okay, which is up here. So it's out of position. It's out of first position. The picture he has there is actually a good way of doing it often, to have all the fingers nice and relaxed and up like this, rather than stretching out from the first fret, which, which is one of the harder ways of doing it, and I would usually try to avoid. In this little piece here called the minor melody, you, what you want to do is put down this A. Okay. Now, when you play the E, do not release that A hold the two down. Now you have the D note, which could be done with three or could be done with four. The reason four is very often easier is because it requires no stretch. Three requires the reach out from two, and it's a much more difficult thing to do. Like on that D minor chord, it's easier to use the, uh, the four. So in this little piece, do what you want, but as you play that E note, hold both your two and three, if you use the three, and then lighten the pressure and just, okay, so and you slide along and you grab the A note like that, and then, then you just go back down. My two is really on the whole time. If I use the four here, I then I just slide up like this. And then I slide back. And now uh, I have to take the two off. And I'd probably go two to three here rather than, rather than jump the two. Okay, and then repeat. Oh, this is a little different this time. It gives you this F note. Now, when you have this, you don't want to do that. Okay, that's the harder thing to do. I mean, you want to be able to do it as you develop yourself, but the best way to do it would be, I play that F, I keep my fingers real close, and practice the shift up like this, and you keep that fourth finger touching. And then when you come back down, 
When you come back down, because you have to go back down to first position to get the C, have the first finger already on the string, play the open, and while you're playing, you come down like this. Okay, so I'll play that whole thing. practice it nice and slowly it'll come out nice and smooth like that okay and then at the bottom you have this little thing hitting on all six so it's a it's a review of all the notes now when I play this I'd be like this I, I would I'll play the first note again fingers nice and low hold that while you reach here I keep my fingers low and touching whenever possible. So here's the second line. That could be four, but I'll use three here. See how close I keep that second finger. I'm doing alternate picking. It's If you've got it going fast, that's what you do. In the beginning, play it all um, down picks. Notice I do things like this on the second line. Play the G. Now I go to the open E. But I keep that three real close. I'd even touch it to the second string when I practice as I put that one down on the F. That'll keep it nice and close. The worst thing that can happen is this. Is that when you put down the one, the three does that. Best thing is if the three stays real close like that and the way to achieve that is touch it right here as you put the one down then it's there okay and that makes the playing of it very easy and that takes you up to page 21 um, in the mail bag okay good happy practicing and uh, I'll see you next time I am a great guitar player and my students become great guitar players because I share with them all my practice and playing secrets. If you'd like to become a great guitar player, the best place to start is with my book, The Principles of Correct Practice for Guitar. You'll learn things you never heard of before and it will change your guitar playing life.